the distance control is the most important aspect. You're not going to chip the ball too far offline, but if you get the distance right, you're going to have a tap in, and you're also going to chip a few more in like I did the first one. So to practice here, distance control with chips, here's a really good drill to do it. I'm going to grab four sticks. You can use old shafts. These are quite good. I'm going to lay one down on the ground. And then we'll, let's say we'll do one big step. Put another one down. Another step. One more, one more step. So now I have a little grid here. And we're going to call this one zone one. Zone two. Zone three and we're gonna practice some chips from around the green, calling which zone we're gonna land it in. We're not worried about the result, we're worried about which area we land it in, and then we're gonna improve our distance control and start chipping closer to the hole. So you can use whatever club you like. For this one, I have a pitching wedge, and I'm gonna try and start off to chip it to carry the ball into zone one. There it is. Now let's go to zone three. And that landed in there also. Remember, I'm not worried about where the end result is. All I'm practicing is my distance that I landed in that area so I know when I'm out on the course how much swing I need. Let's go for number two how much length swing I need and what club I need to land it into that area. And then when you're on the course, you can start to envision these things. When you approach a chip shot, you can see the amount of green you've got, how, where you need to land it, how much run out it's gonna have, and you'll start chipping it closer to the hole and in because your distance is gonna be spot on the mark.